Well, congratulations uh, on the Tech Point Foundation for Youth Bridge Builder Award. You are the scientist in residence uh, for MSD Wayne Township. What, is, what does that entail? Well, what that means is I have 9,000 students. <laughs> and every day I go, I spend a week at a different school and we do hands-on science, technology, and engineering projects. And so I'm the resident scientist. At, uh, we go from kindergarten to sixth grade doing just really great things. And, and I know a major focus for you is making science approachable. It, it can be intimidating kind of looking from the outside. Why is that so important and, and how do you go about doing that? Sure. Well, I'll tell you, I've not met a, a child that did not get excited about science. Uh, I, science is all around us and my job is just to let them know that the answers to the world can be found by doing science. And, I, and little kids, and especially big kids like me, we have lots of questions about the world. And so I usually start with, do you have questions about why does the moon look like it follows you home at night? And, and why do the insects chirp and come out at different times? And, and uh, how do bridges get built? And how strong are they? And instead of me just telling students that, pose the question and let's see if we can find some answers. And that's probably the most exciting thing about science and technology is letting people try to understand it and try it themselves. And I know another focus for you is connecting science with disadvantaged students or, or students that might not have had that opportunity before. Uh, just why, why is that so important to you? I tell you, uh, I know there's a lot of kids that have opportunities and you expect them to use the internet and you expect them to go to museums and to have people that can help them. But I spend most of my day with students that don't have those uh, opportunities, but I don't see any difference in their desire to learn or their willingness to have some fun. And so it just means a lot more to me to know that I'm the one getting to help them being introduced to the world of science and technology. And you're, you're at the Mira Awards with all of these, you know, just very accomplished, sure. Uh, you know, tech leaders, but we still need that next generation. And uh, how, how important do you think the role is for someone like you or, or for the, the schools to make sure to cultivate that next generation? Sure. You know, most of the people this evening have won some just really prestigious awards for technology. Well, I'm a technology user, but I'm more of a technology cheerleader because probably every one of those guys that, and women that have won those awards wards were some nerdy kids sitting in the back of the classroom afraid to get involved or afraid to participate. Technology levels the field. And what's happening now is if I spend too much time trying to learn one type of technology, the kids are already leapfrogging ahead and leapfrogging ahead. And in our classrooms, they're so brilliant and so smart. If we can just give them the tools to let them shine, that's a great thing. And so I like working with kids that uh, don't have those opportunities because they come up with some really innovative solutions. And I think I know how you're going to answer this, but I'm going to okay. ask you anyway. Um, do you feel the tech sector is in good hands here with the next generation coming up? You know, that's an interesting question because it's changed so much. If I look back when I first started teaching and the technology we used, what it looked like now, I, I look back and go, I can't believe it happened. So it's really hard to predict what's going to happen in the future. My problem is, I like people to take things apart, try to fix them and break them, and we're becoming a, like a group of users. Using is fine, but I want people to be able to take it apart and fix it. So we need more programs that get kids to be not just using technology, but making technologies to work for them.